hello lovely people i welcome you back to my channel so in this video we'll be talking about nine lessons i learned in nine years in marriage if you are interested then you definitely have to keep on watching so welcome back nine years in marriage and i learned i've learned nine lessons and that's what i want to share with you so the first thing that I learned is that conflict will surely come. In marriage, in relationship, conflict will surely come because the first reason is that men are different from women. Men have different vibe. Women have different vibe. That is why something that is so much important to a man, to a lady, it's not that much important. Let me give you an example. You see when a man is watching a football match of his favorite team and then the favorite team loses you realize that the man can decide not to eat and the woman will be like ah, why is it that this team that you don't have so much investment or you don't have it doesn't bring you anything why are you not eating because you are sure with him that same way a woman can watch telenovela and cry and the man will be like ah will be in the movies now to honor wolves more how on say so men are different from women the fact that we are coming from different backgrounds, the fact that both of us were brought up differently, also results in conflict. In the background I'm coming from, as the background my husband is coming from. So these things will bring conflict. But there are minor conflicts and there are major conflicts. But I just want you to know that in marriage, conflict will surely come in so the fact that conflict comes doesn't mean that you don't love each other or it doesn't mean that your partner doesn't love you or it doesn't mean that the marriage is not going to work no conflict will surely come the second thing i learned in my marriage of nine years is that forgiveness is a must my dear forgiveness is a must but it does not mean you are weak for the marriage to be successful there has to be even advanced forgiveness. You have to make a conscious effort to forgive your partner no matter what. There are issues that will come up. As the conflict comes, you have to know that if I have decided to be with this person no matter what, then I should be able to forgive the person when he or she offends me. The third thing I learned is that apology must come. Normally, we expect apology before forgiveness. Yes. When you offend your partner, you have to apologize. But I'm sorry to disappoint you. It is not always the case that your partner apologizes. And so you can't also say that because he didn't apologize, I won't forgive him. And so this third point and the second point are some way somehow connected. Yes, when you offend your partner, you must apologize. But what if the apology doesn't come? What if he or she doesn't apologize? That doesn't mean that you shouldn't forgive the person. So forgiveness is a must. Apology must come before forgiveness, but it is not always the case. The fourth thing I learned in my marriage, be angry, but do not sin. Yes, anger is an emotion that naturally sometimes comes. And even the Bible says that do not let the sun set on your anger. So it means that as human as we are, when your partner does something you are naturally going to be angry but my dear make sure that the anger doesn't make you do things that you are not supposed to do make sure that the anger doesn't make you say things that you are not supposed to say make sure that you do not sleep on your anger so one thing i learned was that when i am angry i try as much as possible not to go to bed with that anger because i let, let me tell you a story a man of God told me that his parents had issues overnight in the night before they went to bed. And then in the night, they, didn't, they weren't able to resolve the conflict. The morning came. The man was supposed to travel for a business meeting. So he left the home with anger. The wife was also in the house. She was angry. And so they didn't really talk. The man just took his bag and said, I'm going here. Then he went. Unfortunately, 15 minutes later, the woman had a call that her husband had had an accident and he's dead. That thing the man told me really taught me a lesson. That life is too short for me to harbor anger in me, harbor unforgiveness in me, 
overnight, two days, three days, one week. Why? Because my husband did something that I was not comfortable with. No. So I learned that we do not sleep on our anger. I learned that we do not let the sun set on our anger. I learned that the anger will, will come, but do not sin. The fifth thing that I've learned nine years in marriage is that 50-50 doesn't work in marriage. Yes, my dear. It is not like I am bringing my 50%, you also bring your 50%. No, in marriage, it's 100-100. I give my all, you give your all. It is a mutual thing. And for us to be happy in the marriage, my dear, it should be 100% from my side, 100% from your side. The next thing is that mutual sexual desire is not always the case. <laughs> yes, it is not always that when I want to have sex, my husband feels like having sex. It is not always that he wants to have sex, I want to have sex. It is not always the case. So when your partner wants to have sex, the Bible has also said that you do not have you do not own your body immediately you say i do your body belongs to him his body belongs to you yes it is not always the case but sometimes you have to train your mind and decide oh even though i do not have the desire to do that let me try and put myself in the mood so that i can satisfy my partner sometimes the other party can also say okay if you are so much not in the desire then let me hang on or hold on but that is not always the case but I have learned that mutual sexual desire is not always the case in marriage. The seventh point is that communication is always best over assumption. And that thing, eh, it is best you ask. It is best you talk about it. Oh, the fact that he, he was supposed to do this and he didn't do that means that he did that. And then you assume but assumption has broken a lot of marriages. I have learned that it is always the best to talk about it. It is always the best to communicate than to assume. Respect is key in marriage. And that is my eighth point. I have to respect you. You have to respect me. There are some things you don't say. There are some things you don't do. If you really love someone, why would you insult the person? If you really love someone, why would you lift up your hand and, and slap the person? Respect. The man has to respect the woman. The woman has to respect the man. Respect should be mutual and it is very key in marriages. My husband respects me and I respect him. There are some things that I will never tell my husband. And before I got married, there was one thing that I had in my mind, that I want to behave in such a way that even when I am not there, even when he goes out and someone does something to him, he can say, ah, adia wu ye idea se ye me ire kia in ko on ye sa. E ye sebio sebio, if it was to be my husband, he wouldn't do that to me. Respect is very necessary in marriage. The last point is that friendship is very important. My dear, I said, I've said it earlier that if you want to marry someone just because the person is good in bed, how many hours in a day are you going to have sex? There are 24 hours in the day. And so you should marry someone, you should be with someone that you can vibe with, someone that you can do everything with, someone like you can flow with a person. Your partner should be your friend. And that's one thing I've, I've realized that after everything, there are some times that we have to talk as husbands and wives, there are some times that we have to talk as friends. And that has really helped the marriage to go on. So these are nine lessons I learned in nine years of marriage. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. My name is Ekia Nyami. If this is the first time you are coming across my video, please subscribe and click on the notification button so that you'll be part of the first people who receive any video that I post. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Now, I mean, can't.